um, signed problem as a subtraction problem. I will explain to you what I mean by that. You cannot leave an algebraic sign problem, basically, when you're working with sign numbers, you can't leave the problem as a subtraction problem. Just like you can't divide fractions, you can't subtract signed numbers. Sort of. Okay? I'll explain to you what I mean by that. So, for example, I have a negative 10 minus a negative 6. What can I not do? I cannot leave this subtraction as a subtraction. You always, 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 I don't care if you have to star this, has to be an adding problem. You have to turn it into an adding problem. Okay? Now there's two ways to think about this. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yes. Can't you subtract a negative number? You are going to be able to, yes, but you can't leave it as a subtraction problem. Okay. Okay? Now, there are two ways to look at this, and I'm going to tell y'all which way, you, which two ways. Okay? Whenever you see a minus, you're going to change it to a plus. Okay? And then you're going to look at the number to the right and change it to its opposite. Remember how we talked about opposites? Okay? Remember that? So a negative 6, so because I made this change, the number to the right is going to change to its opposite number. And negative 6 would become a does everybody understand what we just did? Yeah. Okay. Another way you can look at that. Yes, Isaac. Uh, the end. Okay. The, another way you can look at that at that is when I change this to plus, I change the sign number to the right to the opposite. Same thing. I'm basically saying the same thing. You never change it to the left. Okay. Never. Just like with fractions, you never change that to left. Always the right. Got it? So, you know, so it always has to be addition? Yes. Okay. Always has to be addition, which is what this is saying. Cannot leave it as a subtraction. Why does it always have to be addition? Problem. It's just the way it is. I don't know how to explain it. I have no idea. Okay, okay so now you can use the number line to answer it, or you can use these rules. I don't know if I'm going to give you the rules. They're not telling me to give you the rules. I'm going to wait. Okay? So, what the answer going to be? What is the answer going to be? Negative 4. Negative 4. So, what if you're going to do is I would go negative 10. Negative 10. Uh, I'm going to draw it up here. She left it up here. Okay, so I'm going starting out negative 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus a positive 6. Positive means to the right 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The answer is negative 4. Girls in the back. Negative 4. Does everybody see that? Okay. What about this one? Negative 3 minus a positive 5. Now, this one they happen to put parentheses around them. They don't always have to. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. They don't that mean any difference. That mean okay, what do I do, Isaac? Uh, you go 3 to the right. I mean, 3 to the left. Come out. There's a problem. Oh, well, that would become negative. The 5 will become negative 5. Okay, and that so when I plus. change this minus to a plus, it changes to its opposite or changes the sign. Okay? And positive 5 would now become negative 5. Negative 5. And now, if I were to work this, start at 0 and I'm going to go to the left 3. 1, 2, 3. And then also, now I'm going to go to the right, or no, to the left, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Answer is negative, negative 8. 8. This is the most important part. 
changing your minuses to pluses. So we have to do all of them on a, a Kindle one? If it tells you to. No? Yes. A through B, they want you to do a number line. C through H, they want you to do a mentally. If you're not ready to do it mentally, do it on the number line. Got it? Good. That's less than one minute.